This right here will end friendship. Hello, buddy. Richard Berry here, and we're back at Wilderness Lodge because we haven't had fun in Territory Lounge in quite some time. Yes, it's been a minute, and we love that place, so... And the menu changed. Let's go. When you change your menu, we're coming back. That's true. Be sure to subscribe. I heard the girl. The Orchid's Bounty is all orange and ready for flower and garden. Let's go. Ooh, it's peachy. I actually really like it a lot. It's a nice slow sipper, but it's really fruity, but like there's also a nice balance of liquor to it. A liqueur. I'm gonna give it a four out of five beverages. It's really good. It looks bountiful. Beautiful, bountiful, bountiful, beautiful. Both in either order, whichever you choose. A nice little rind in there. It smells wonderful. Citrusy. It's honestly not bad. I expected to hate it. I thought it was going to be too sweet. I think it has a nice balance of like the strength and characters of the alcohol, but a little bit of sweetness. It feels like sort of a journey. Uh, we've been watching a lot of like Yellowstone associated and its associated spinoffs lately, so I 100% blame the princess for us ending up here, but I'm not mad about it. I just wish that all the parks and this resort had more Native American influence. Just saying. Drink up. Drink is good. Three and a half out of five points. It seems as if I can't escape this. This appears to be my new jam. What I need to do is get some vegan marshmallows for the princess and make one of these at home for her so she can try it. We had one at the Festival of the Arts. Now we're here at Territory Lounge with another uh, s'mores. Old fashioned this time. With the uh, marshmallows they toasted themselves. Fresh. Ooh, that's good. That's very good. This will take me a while to drink this. With the toasty, you get s'more. You definitely get s'mores from it. It's like a very subtle chocolate. Which is the normal smokiness you get with the bourbon. And the marshmallows is a nice touch. I can. I could sit here and drink these all day, unbothered, with a nice lengthy novel and earplugs. I can't listen to people all day, but it's an amazing drink. Four and a half out of five plus. We have the National 95, which is just whiskey and champagne, which I don't think I've ever had before. I'm kind of interested. It piqued my interest. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a really interesting taste. It's like front of the mouth or front like up in my nose I can taste the whiskey but then like in the back of my throat I can taste the champagne so it's like a kind of a weird mixture I don't know I don't know how I feel about that I thought I was gonna like it more than I actually do I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five champagnes I want to experiment with this at home but they're on to something here does the only need to do is for you to go giving her more ideas Okay, my house is already stocked full of Grand Marnier, cognac, no more of that. Champagne is expensive. Whiskey's already expensive. Ooh, but they are onto something. Bubbles and whiskey go kind of good together. I think it'll probably depend on the whiskey and champagne. Damn it. Got us again. Four to five plus. So this is the Elias. Something Elias. I'm just remembering because you know Disney. Oh, it smells so good. I actually wanted to order this, but I was I decided to be nice and let Bayer order it. But this is something I would I wouldn't have ordered unless we went on the wish and tried cognac. It just smells smoky. Mm. Ooh, that's smooth. It's 
like velvety smooth. This is amazing. This is a this is a five out of five. Walt Disney would be proud. Slowly at home, I've been upgrading my whiskey drink, and I have whiskey stones. I have the giant ice cube makers. Uh, I have a little smoke machine thing for my drinks at the house with like different wood chips. I think I need to upgrade my glassware. This is what all my whiskey should come in now. On. I know that you have like certain glass, certain drinks, but I want a goblet for my whiskey, okay? Like a villain goblet. Cause I'm a bear. And a part-time villain. I love the smell of campfire in the afternoon. Yeah, we can stop the video here. Okay. It is timeless in your mouth. This is like, let's call it a signature fine dining smoked turkey. This is the right amount of sweet, the right amount of smoky. The whiskey and cognac, but I'm sold. I'm sorry. It is a five out of five cloth. It's on my bigger Tessie's list. Uh, this is probably... My second favorite drink on Disney Bros. Second favorite. I'm so excited to try this mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, 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 with the crispy onions, mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac and cheese, that's a preview of my mac and cheese song, as it just fell, um, I usually sing for mac and cheese in order to get Bear to make me his incredible cauliflower cashew based cheese sauce from scratch that we do at home all the time, if you harass him enough, maybe he'll share the recipe, I doubt it. Wow. wow. The Beyond sausage is flavored and seasoned and crisp so beautifully. The um, curl mac and cheese reminds me of like going to um, Whispering Can, not Whispering Can, um, Hoop Dee Doo Review. It's really delicious. It's way more flavorful. It's not that cheesy though. I feel like it can use a little bit more of the, the cheesiness to make it like ooey gooey, but it is probably one of the best mac and cheeses on property that's vegan. Like if I had to choose between coming here all the time or going to Woody's Lunchbox for tachos all the time, I'm gonna have a hard time making that decision, but I love this. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. It's amazing, you gotta have it. Gotta get it. If you're staying here, come here and order this. Like, it's mandatory. The princess is saying this is mandatory territory. She made it up. It was none of me. If it sounds corny, you can blame her. But you got the crumbles, you have the different peppers on top, the onion crispies. Look at that. Look, look at how beautiful that looks. It's like a garden of deliciousness. A little bit of spice. So it's a spicy plant-based mac and cheese. And this is this is like a dinner portion. If you're a vegan, you can probably eat this entire thing and be full afterwards. It's also dinner price, but that's beside the fact. I'm making cheese in here. Actual mac, there we go. The plant-based chorizo. With the peppers, onion straws, breadcrumbs is like, a plant-based playground. Literally feel like I'm on a plant-based juggle gym eating all this, but like in a fun way. Um, it feels more like a mac and cheese bake than like mac and cheese, because it is not very cheesy. You definitely get the cheese flavor. And it doesn't have that cardboard plant-based taste. It actually tastes like mac and cheese. It's just a dry baked mac and cheese, but not like, I'm not running for a drink of water. Just be prepared if you like yours, like she's cheesy, it's not one of those. But it's still really, really good. This 
is easily one of the best mac and cheeses we had on property without being cheesy. I say it's easily in the top three. Hoopty mac and cheese is very, very hard to beat. This is like Falcon and the Winter Soldier on your left type close. 4.75 out of 5. Points. Um, we're hearing from the servers that this is like extremely popular, being very new. If you order this, don't share with your friends. Just order your own. Because you're gonna fight it. You're gonna out each other over that thing that, that you, their boyfriend did like two years ago. Your boy kissing your best friend's girl five years ago. This right here will end friendship if you try to share. But do come get it though. So we have the salmon run. This is salmon three ways. We have the salmon flatbread with dill, capers, green onions, uh, shallots. Then we have salmon in uh, and then smoked salmon. Give it salmon tower. That looks like a Just saying it. Just getting out of the way before somebody else in the comments says it. If you believe me, you leave a uh, eggplant in the comments. Either way, let's just dive in. Uh, there is cheese on this. I took a dose of lactate, the triple dose, because I'm not sure. It's not a lot, but depending on what cheese this is, I might be in trouble. Luckily, this is probably the last thing we're eating here today. But it smells delicious. The shallot and the green onion and the dill it just hits you in the face. You have this nice salmon smell on top of it, but not the, the, the fishy smell, just a nice fresh salmon. It almost feels like a, a good New York lox bagel. I hope this is a cream cheese. I'm going to be in pain. It is not cream cheese. And it's chilled. I expect it to be warm. It's not. The same in one way. I'm giving that three out of five points. Three and a half out of five points. If you don't like raw sin, like and it's like freshest form, I'm talking about sushi. I'm not talking about on a bagel. I'm talking about you just pick raw salmon up and eat it. You don't like that? You're gonna hate this. It is a super strong salmon of the ocean. There's no citrus to cut it. So you're getting that caper green onion in your mouth. It's like the Godzilla breath of salmon. Your mileage may vary. Now let's uh, try this phallic salmon over here. I'm gonna shave a piece down. Ooh, that smells nice and covered in spices. Mm, okay. Like a cracked pepper salmon. Delicious. I'm gonna move you over here because you're currently my favorite. I'm giving this one a four to five plus. Then we're getting this dill salmon over here. The third way of the salmon. More ocean than the first, but still really good. I would say, if you're a fish lover, if you like sushi, this is, this is you. I will say, if you're on a date, do not get this. Unless you plan to brush your teeth immediately after because you're going to have fish breath. 100%. I'm giving the entire board three and a half out of five things. I wouldn't get it again, but I would need to be in the mood. But like, don't get this on a date. On a date. By yourself, with a drink maybe, not on a date. How do you rank them? Like one, two, three? Uh, I'm going to give the, it's like cracked pepper one, number one, the flatbread a two, and this one last. If I'm ranking all three together, one, Two and three. It's an adventure. I like it. I, I think I like this better than the bacon, the the Tower of Bacon. But this, this thing I'm on board with. Fish over bacon any other week.
Territory Lounge is our territory. Such a great experience. And thank you, Dana, our server. She is amazing. She was our server the she last made, two times we were yes. here. And she made great recommendations, both for drinks and the food. And then thank you for this very, very kind family. From Philadelphia? Philadelphia. But, uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, I'm sorry. And um, I'm sorry we didn't put your name either. But they paid for our bill, you guys. <laughs> I'm still in shock. We did not. We, we found out after when we go so pay our tab. Like, but. Yeah, like after they'd already left. It's a word. We're taking a picture. I feel very, so bad. Very kind of you. I don't even know how to feel about that. Thank you. And if you're mm. if you're watching this video, please comment so we can like. Thank you properly. Actually, yes, thank you. Yes. yes. But I want to know if you got to Territory Lounge. Why haven't you come to hang out here? Historic decor, Walt themed drinks, good food. It's amazing. It's almost a better dinner than some of the other places and resorts around Bay Lake. Who are you throwing shade at? I'm throwing shade at everybody. Either way, I want you guys to think. Let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see us do, that's always a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Woo. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and comment. Otherwise, Bear will try to eat himself through this glass to get to this waterfall over here. And it won't end well. I promise you. I just want to float down the river. But you heard the girl.